Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this reading will be your general reading for January 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Virgo? And let's see. Oh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity, Virgo. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get some current energy for Virgo. Current energies for Virgo. We have tune into your inner peace. Okay, Virgo, you're looking for inner peace. You may be working on yourself. Be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out. So, Virgo. What are you doing? What is going on with Virgo? Let's see. Let's find some more energy for Virgo. What's going on? What's going on with Virgo? We have big picture thinking. Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. So, Virgo, you may be gaining a lot of ideas just out of um, whatever you're doing. Um, and you're, you're trying to create new things. You're trying to find your expression, find your something that expands your mind but you're trying to figure things out Virgo you're trying to gain some kind of clarity on the situation whatever it is that you're going through tell me more about what's going on with Virgo I'm going to use this deck tell me more about what's going on with Virgo What's going on with Virgo? Let's get some cards for you. The Tower. So I feel like with the Tower card, the first one to come out, you are going through a lot of changes. This Tower moment, oh, this Tower moment is dramatic. This tower moment is very dramatic. That's the reason why you're trying to look within yourself. You're trying to come up with the answers. You're looking into yourself to find some kind of peace, Virgo, because of this tower that's coming. This tower that I'm feeling like this tower has already happened. Yeah, the Page of Swords. Hmm. The King of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Virgo, with this tower, I feel like it brought on a lot of discomfort. Um... I'm not necessarily feeling heartbreak, but um, I'm really feeling like it's left you with a lot of doubts, a lot of insecurities. Um, that I feel like that is leading you into the soul searching that you're going through at the moment. That's leading you into kind of going within. Something is pushing you through this change. And I feel like it may be, I feel like this tower may have come across because of some kind of gossip or rumor. Um, I feel like people are talking about you, Virgo. You're, you're in a lot of people's mouths in January. Something that, that happened has got people talking about you. But I feel like you're standing firm. 
I feel like, you know, this isn't bringing you down, but this is, you know, making you soul search. You're looking into finding your stability again. You're, you're looking into finding peace, definitely. And with the Six of Pentacles, um, I feel like you, you're asking for help. This is you asking for help. And I feel like there may be someone who is going to come in and offer you some kind of generosity. Some kind of, of help is on the way. Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me more about this spirit for Virgo. Yeah, definitely help is on the way. You also have the Six of Cups. So help is on the way, Virgo. Um, this may be by way of family, friends. Uh, this may be by way of just a general person, a, you know, who is generous. Um, we also have the King of Wands. And the High Priestess. The King of Swords. Okay. Um, Virgo. I feel like someone's coming in to offer you help. And see, we have the King of Wands and the King of Swords. So I feel like it may be two people coming in from your past or two people coming in to offer help. This King of Wands, this may be a new love interest as well. Um, but I feel like there's someone coming in to offer you help. And this may be very deep because with the King of Wands and the King of Swords... Also, you got the High Priestess. This may be, this may have something to do with this Tower moment. Because I see these two kings coming in. One is offering clarity and truth. And the other one is offering passion and love. Um, but I feel like this is secrets being exposed. And I feel like if you were in a situation where you had two loves, I feel like it's coming out in the open. Um, it's all being revealed. That may be the reason for this tower and three of swords. Very interesting. Tell me more. The magician. And the Four of Wands. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. Virgo. We have the Ace of Wands at the bottom. So. Virgo. Okay. Where you had this ending with this power moment and this three of swords I feel like you know with every ending there's always a new beginning and this new beginning is going to be very passionate very fiery that's what's leading me to believe that maybe this new beginning is with this king of wands this king of wands is coming through to help you through whatever situation you're in and I feel like you know the situation may be due to this King of Swords. He may be, or she may be, the reason for this tower. You know? Um, but I feel like it, it, whatever was going on, Virgo, um, you're not being stopped. You're still pushing on because you have this magician. So I feel like whatever trickery that was going on, whatever situation kind of had you in this inner uh, 
looking for inner peace you know I feel like you're coming out ahead you're creating something new out of this and see we have the tower to the six of cups to the magician so definitely you know you have help you have family you have support through this tower situation and you have the ability to create something new so with this ending comes this new beginning this new beginning is going to be better than what was left behind this tower fell because there was something better in your life you know that was a possibility so this magician is coming out to let you know that yes something better is coming something more stable something that you have the ability to achieve is on its way and I feel like it's bringing you a lot more happiness a lot more stability um, you're moving into a better place with this eight of cups see he's looking into the distance he's already left these cups behind all these cups kind of mean nothing to him now even though at one time they meant so much you know he's not even focusing on these cups any longer he's focusing straight ahead into his nine of cups moment he's moving towards something that makes brings more contentment that brings more more satisfaction that's more satisfying to them so that's what I feel like you're doing Virgo I feel like you're moving into something that's more better more prosperous tell me more about this tower spirit tell me about this tower what is this tower moment the death card yeah this was definitely an ending this was definitely an ending, but it was an ending that, that was that needed to happen. It was something that needed to happen to help you grow. And I feel like it was a learning experience. It was something that, you know, it was a lesson that had to be learned. What is this? Yeah, the with the three of swords, you have the two of wands. So definitely... Um, definitely you had to make a choice in this situation and I've, I'm really feeling like you had to make a choice between two so you know I feel like you had to make a choice between two people and it was just although it may have been hard I feel like it was something that needed to be done. It was something that needed to happen. With the Page of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles. So, definitely in this situation, when people are talking, when people are gossiping, um, I feel like there's people coming in to defend you. I feel like you're, you're being defended. You're being supported. Uh, someone's coming in to say, you know... Um, you don't know all the facts, move around, you know, keep your, your, their name out of your mouth. With this King of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone's going to bring in good news for you. Someone's going to bring in some good news, maybe the news that you weren't expecting. Um... Like I said, this can also be a new opportunity, new love. What is this Six of Pentacles? Yeah, someone's going to bring in a lot of generosity. A lot of generosity that is going to bring you a lot of hope, a lot of passion, uh, a lot of satisfaction. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness because of this generosity that someone shows you. I feel like it was very unexpected. You don't expect it at the moment. What is this Six of Cups? Yeah. Page of Wands. So definitely, definitely, this is news coming in. 
this is I, I feel like people are kind of changing the script they're like okay this person is talking about you we've got your back we're supporting you we're defending you you know and you have this new communication coming in um, I feel like this page of wands has to do with this king of wands I feel like this is a lot of good news a lot of new possibilities coming through for you this may be also a lot of new communication with this king king of wands this is a, a lot of new communication because I feel like it brings a lot of passion yet yeah, with this king of wands you have the fool so with this king of wands he, this this person is your new beginning whether it's a male or a female the king of wands the passion the you know seductiveness this person is coming in to bring you this new adventure this new journey that you're going to go on um but i feel like it's something brand new this is new love coming in With the High Priestess, you have the Temperance. So, with all of these secrets, all of these mysteries being revealed, I feel like you're still gaining your healing. You're still gaining your healing. Something's been revealed that may have been kind of devastating for you at first, but I feel like you're recovering from it. You're taking back your control. You know, um, with this, this transference of water, I feel like you're pouring out your emotions. Um, but I feel like you're recovering. What is this King of Swords? Tell me about this King of Swords. The Page of Cups. You have three pages in this reading. Very interesting. A lot of communication. I feel like this King of Swords, this P King of Swords may be trying to come back into your life. Now, I'm really feeling like this King of Swords is the reason for this tower moment. It's the reason for this ending and this new beginning. Um, so, I really feel like this King of Swords is trying to come back to kind of ask you. Ask you out. Get some kind of... Some kind of answer that they're looking for. They want some kind of reaction from you. They're still trying to text you. They're still trying to call you. I feel like this person is, is trying to let you know that they still care. I'm not sure if you're kind of going for that though. Tell me about this magician. The King of Pentacles. So definitely... definitely with this new beginning with this new thing that you're creating it's going to bring a lot more stability a lot more solid ground you know um i feel like you're in a better position than you than you were before definitely you're in a better mental state you're in better um you're better money wise. This situation may have happened at work. Maybe that's the reason why it, it left the tower. Maybe you lost your job due to this situation. But I feel like wh whatever happened, you're in a better position. Tell me about this Four of Wands. The Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this love. Look at this. You have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. So I feel like this love, 
that's coming through is bringing you a lot more satisfaction. This may also lead to marriage, to a proposal, to some kind of lifelong happiness. Um, because I feel like with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, that's, that's huge. The Four of Wands is like celebrating, like family, friends, you know, having reunions, homecomings. It's also, it can also be an indicator of marriage, of a happy home, you know, uh, starting a family. So, yeah, with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, that could be huge. Tell me about this Eight of Cups, Spirit. What is this Eight of Cups? is the ace of cups yeah and what was i saying i was saying before that you know you can see that this person is leaving these cups behind they're leaving them behind they're looking towards the future they're looking towards the nine of cups and look what pops on top the ace of cup this is the ninth cup so he's definitely looking into that new contentment looking into his dreams his wishes coming true so this is the ninth cup this is that new beginning the new satisfaction you know um wow beautiful it started out really you know i kind of wasn't knowing where it was going virgo but you know it's all working out and I know this this is life. This is life. So I know that in times you were you may be devastated. You may not know which way to turn. But just know that it gets better. It gets better as you move through. You just have to have the strength to move through your situation, Virgo, because it does get better. It does have a happy ending, you know? Um, let's get a few clarifiers. Let's see. Tell me, what does Virgo need to know? Tell me, what advice does Virgo need to know? Spirit. No. Whatever you're thinking about, Virgo, the answer is no. And I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, we have friendship and union. So, Virgo, I feel like whatever it is that you're going through, I feel like friendship, being around people, having that support system is what's going to really pull you through it. It's what's going to bring you the satisfaction that you need. It's what's going to give you the guidance, you know. Um, let's see. What else do we have for Virgo? Tell me. What do we have for Virgo? Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Trust what you know, Virgo. I think that, Virgo, you can see someone who's not being truthful from a mile away. I feel like you have that ability. You do. You just have to trust your instincts, trust your intuition. Awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear the cloak of protection and love. So, the Spirit is letting you know that you have the wisdom to know the truth. You have the wisdom to know the answers that you're looking for. You also have protection. You also have protection and you are loved, Virgo. You are loved. At the bottom we have rise up. Honor your inner force. Step are being given dance with the universe yeah so not standing still taking action taking action is going to make all the difference 
taking action is going to make all the difference. Okay, um, Virgo, if you'd like to ask a question, you can pause the video for a moment. Um, we'll see what we get. But you want to ask your question now. What is the question you would like to ask? The answer is no. The answer is no. And we have in perfect timing. So whatever your question is, um, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen now. It's going to happen at its own perfect timing. Um, when it's meant to happen in its own divine time. So whatever the question that you had, um, it still needs to grow. It still needs to prosper before it comes to fruition. Okay, that is what I have for you, Virgo. So if this reading resonates, please like us, subscribe, hit that bell for um, notifications. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And until the next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. Love and light.